President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Take a look at what happened. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. Everything you just saw was fake. Welcome to the world of deep fakes, where seeing is no longer believing. Well, McDonald had a farm and Bingo was his name. Have I ever told you the story of the magical pistachio? I got lost in the grocery store and couldn't find my way out. I am not Morgan Freeman. What you see is not real. What is your perception of reality? In 2024, more than 3 billion people will vote in elections worldwide. But there's an invisible threat that could change everything. Deep fakes. These AI-generated videos and audio clips are so realistic they fooled millions. But just how effective have deepfakes been in affecting election outcomes? Watch as we delve deep into the shadowy underworld of deepfakes and reveal the secrets from the masters of manipulation themselves of how deepfakes are being weaponized as 2024's most potent threat to democracy. This video was created by SumSub, the verification platform. We make the digital world people-friendly yet secure. The deepfake era of politics is upon us. Pavel Goldman Kaladin is head of AI and machine learning at SumSub. He says deepfakes pose a much more significant challenge for electoral integrity, public trust and political engagement than the public is actually aware of. And this is very important as well. So misinformation defects or celebrity defects or political defects. The purpose is different, but the technology is exactly the same. It's this dark art which deceptionologist Perry Carpenter is all too familiar with. I study the effects of deception. Every scammer out there is after one or two things money or mimes. So they're they're out to trick us into giving our money away or they're out to make us do or believe something. But deep fakes in politics aren't new. One of the first instances of AI manipulation in 2024 was a January robocall, seemingly from President Joe Biden himself. What a bunch of malarkey. We know the value of voting Democratic when our votes count. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. We'll need your help in electing Democrats up and down the ticket. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. Since then, deepfake images of Vice President Kamala Harris wearing a communist uniform, pop star Taylor Swift endorsing Donald Trump, and Harris and Trump being shown in an intimate embrace have flooded the internet. Jonathan Dorr is the founder of the Dorr Brothers, makers of the hyper-realistic, wildly imaginative viral AI videos, which have been blowing up on X in recent months. These AI-generated political videos featuring Trump, Harris, and even the Pope toting guns and being arrested for armed robbery are all deepfakes. Every time you saw news on the internet, if somebody agrees with it, they said that's real for sure, and if somebody disagrees, it just says that's AI-generated. So we live in a world right now that nobody can certify the truth of any piece of information that they receive. Concerns loom around how deepfakes may be used by foreign enemies to influence or sway elections, deepen political divisions, or diminish trust in democracy itself. But I think it did show us as a civilization that it is a powerful technology that does change the mindset of humans. It caused a situation where people trust what they see less and less. So I think that's the main question that we need to solve as a species, like how do we create information that everybody agrees is the right tool for information. That's what we need to solve. In India, during the 2019 general elections, various political parties used AI-driven tools for targeted advertising. Brazil's 2018 presidential elections featured deepfake videos targeting candidates, which significantly influenced public opinion and voter behavior. And during the 2023 elections in Turkey, there were reports of deepfakes being used in political propaganda aimed at swaying public opinion. This resulted in a political candidate withdrawing from the race after a pornographic deepfake video of him was circulated. Political commentator and AI expert Nina Schick says technology is rapidly transforming geopolitics and society in the 21st century. These are machines that are now capable of doing things that we thought were only unique to human creativity and to human intelligence. In September 2023, a deepfake audio was released just days before Slovakia's parliamentary election. Zase príde niekto a nahadže listky priamo. 
tým sa netráp. Proste toto je už vyriešené. No, dobre. A ja? Je pravda, že náhodne vyhrám nejakú masku v tom? The recording went viral on social media. Do you think this, does this sound like you? It does sound like me. And Mikhail Shkomechka was defeated in the election. Professor Reen Cummings is an AI data and tech ethicist. She says the impact of deepfakes on democracy cannot be ignored. And this is why it is so important for you to upskill in real time when it comes to your understanding of the long-term impacts of technology and society. The extraordinary things that can be done with data science and AI, understanding algorithms and understanding the decisions that you make about your life every time you share your data. Deepfakes wield the power to distort reality, mislead voters and influence election outcomes. Since the US presidential race began earlier this year, there has been an increase in misinformation. The sharing of biased and false, false news has become, become all too common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same things that are true without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. In fact, wielding the power to manipulate images and videos has become so simple. All it takes is plugging in the data, generating the deepfake content, and uploading to social media. The difference is then it took 10,000 internet trolls to make a difference. And now one person in a basement with technology can have the same impact as those 10,000 people. It's very easy to craft and you don't usually create just one deepfake. If you have fraudsters, you create lots of deepfakes. Creating just one deepfake is very, very uh, cheap. And it is. It's like it costs nothing. This fake campaign ad of US Democrat presidential candidate Kamala Harris was shared on X and reposted by platform owner Elon Musk. I, Kamala Harris, am your Democrat candidate for president because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility at the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa. Okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. And just remember when voting this November, it is important to see what can be. It has now been seen more than 150 million times. According to our own data, there was upwards of a 245% year-on-year increase in deepfakes worldwide in 2023, with a 303% increase in the US alone. That number could be close to 8 million by 2025, consistent with the doubling of deepfakes online every six months. I think we're on the precipice of another type of civilization as we know it by now and it's going to change extremely with all this technology. And Dor says they're perfectly legal to create as long as the intent isn't malicious. The global implications of deepfakes are vast. According to SumSub's fraud exposure survey, 81% of all respondents are worried about the impact of deepfakes on the integrity of elections. And as the 2024 election draws to an end, the influence of deepfakes on election outcomes and voter sentiments is likely to grow. At the recent World Economic Forum in Davos, discussions about deepfakes focused on their potential to undermine trust in media and elections. The creation and dissemination of deepfakes further raise significant ethical questions regarding free speech, misinformation, and accountability. But most significantly, it's voters who have the most to lose. In a digital age where technology increasingly dissolves the line between what is real and what is fabricated, deepfakes stand out as a potentially damaging force to the dismantling of democracy. So how can ordinary citizens safeguard themselves from these constantly evolving digital threats? Experts say awareness is a good defense. I think the, the first step in ordinary people protecting themselves from AI and online deception is number one, realizing that we're targets. Uh, number two, realizing that we're not that great at detecting what is AI and what's not. So education is like top one priority for everyone. And this is why we, a technology, commercial company, really try to sort of educate people. Go outside, get your information from the person in the cafe or in the street, and don't just 
believe everything you see on the internet and cycle it through as if it's the truth. Just go outside and talk to some humans. There are currently a number of resources and AI tools that can help one to detect deepfakes. In order to fortify our democratic futures, collaborative efforts from the cybersecurity experts, the technology industry, civil society and policymakers alike are also needed to nip deepfakes influence on elections and voter sentiments. But as dust begins to settle over this election and campaigns characterized by AI manufactured politicizing, it's deepfakes potential to forever redefine the very foundations of democracy, which make it this generation's most formidable political threat. And it's only just beginning.